What is the best nation to form Italy? Florence, Milan, Naples? You are right, they are the best nation to form Italy. But there is one small nation that most people are sleeping on. Say hello to Genoa. It has colonies throughout the whole Mediterranean. It has awesome mission tree. Well, not awesome, but it's pretty funny. And it's just really fun nation in general. That's why I want to show you how to dominate Mediterranean as Genoa. Don't worry about privileges, you don't have estates. Let's instead start with choosing our rivals. Choose Byzantium, Crimea, and either Milan or Savoy, depending on who rivals you. If neither of them rivals you, then choose Savoy. In my case, I'll choose Milan. Also, take loan. One should be enough. And build six transports. You should either build six of them or two of them, nothing in between. I recommend building six. Also, let's enact trade power, edict, protect trade on Liguria. And now, let's start out diplomatic things. First, set our attitude to Ottomans as threatened. Second, first check the knights, if they willing to join your trade league, then check Ragusa, then Siena and Luca. Usually Siena won't allow you from the start, but you may improve relations with it and it will. Knights are different thing. If knights don't travel you, invite them ASAP, so Venice doesn't steal them. And also check rivals of Austria, if it rivals Venice or not. It doesn't. Okay, then improve relations with it. Usually Venice will ally you from the start. It may not, but usually it does. If it doesn't, try to ally Hungary. It's pretty really easy to do, as you can see. Also, if Austria for some reason won't ally you at all, like you try it, you've done everything, but it just won't. Uh, you may ally France. It's worse ally than Austria, but it's pretty good too. And of course, ally Castile as soon as you can. It's pretty easy to do. And also check your diplomatic advisors for the diplomatic reputation guy. Okay, and let's also ally Venice and build spy network in Byzantium. So because of this edict, as you can see, we've completed this mission. So now you get claims on these provinces. Uh, but you won't declare on any Italian nations from the start. Don't worry about it. Let's instead transport our armies here. Well, that's unusual. It may happen, usually it doesn't. But if it happened, don't worry about it, it doesn't change anything. So my transports are almost ready. Let's take loan and hire a company. Let's transport our troops to Constantinople. I recommend to go for it first, because if Atomos declare on Byzantium, their first target is Constantinople and it gives you the most war score. Oh, I forgot to hire General, but in this situation it doesn't matter. Always make a ruler General, don't forget to do it. So why do you need exactly either 10 transports or 14? It's because Byzantium may build some troops in Constantinople and it may not. If it does, then you'll need both your free company and your main army. And for this you need exactly 14 transports because you can't just divide free company. So Ottomans finally declared war on Byzantium, that's why I said to focus on Constantinople. Also I forgot really important thing. You start with 140 cannons in your fleet. And you need to get at least 200, at least. If you build 6 more transports, then you'll get 168 cannon. That means that you need to build at least 3 galleys, but I recommend more. Remember that naval force limit is more like suggestion than limit. Uh, so, on one hand I got lucky, because Ottomans dealt with Serbia instead of me, but on the other hand it's the least lucky run that I had with Genoa, because I didn't even get to ally Austria. Usually you'll be luckier, and usually you would either vassalize Byzantium before Atomos declare on it, or you would ally Austria before declaring on Byzantium. So Epirus finally pissed out Byzantium, let's do the same, but what I'll do is I won't actually vassalize it like I planned, I will just conquer it and release it. So now let's ally Austria, and I think I can ally Castile, oh yes I can. By the way, sometimes Epirus allies someone. In one of my game it allied Naples, don't worry about it, you can beat whoever it allies, and you could even get some money from it. Also, I forgot to build more galleys, don't forget to build galleys. Well, again, this is something unusual. Usually, Ottomans are calmer. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to them in this run, uh, but remember that uh, usually they won't attack Europe until they conquered some bailiffs at least. I propose to give Catalonia to Byzantium too. 
Now let's do it and take some money. Now I can finally pay out my loan. Remember that I don't have burger loan, so try not to take too many of them. So if Ottomans are at war with European nation, don't declare on them. If you wonder why shouldn't you declare on Ottomans if they are at war with European nation, if they are at war with European nation, that means that they moved their army here, and that's really, really bad. You'll see my strategy when I'll declare on Ottomans, and you'll see why I need 200 cannons. Right now I propose either to wait or maybe declare on Italian nation, it's pretty good choice too. But if Ottomans aren't at war against Europeans, you should declare on them first and only then think about Italy. So I think this should be enough of galleys. By the way, am I a Pope? I think it may help me with Florence. If you want to bring Italian allies in your wars, always mark projects that you want as critical to you, so your allies don't take them. Also, I recommend to build spy network in your victim, because it reduces aggressive expansion. Don't be like me, don't try to siege mountain fort if your war enemies are near it. Yeah, as you can see, they gave this province to me, because I marked it as vital. He's just standing there, menacingly! Oh, finally, that's a really good sign. I'll soon enough end this war, and I'll show you how to deal with Ottomans. So, small guide on coalitions. These are nations that would join the coalition if I peace out right now. Uh, how to shorten this list? It's pretty easy. As you can see, they write the number of aggressive expansion that they will get. For example, Luca will get minus 63 to relations. That means that I need to increase relations with them to exactly 63. So when I send this truce, our relations will be at zero and they won't join the coalition. Also, don't worry about nations that have truce with you, uh, they won't join anyway. So, to show you how this works, I'll improve relations with Luca and Siena. So, I improved relations with most of nations that I could. This run is not the best that I've got, I'm not sure why, but I can't call in anyone, because they're fighting in another war. So, Venice wants to break my alliance because I allied Pope. And I think Venice is more important, I'll just improve relations with Pope, so I don't get excommunicated. So we can't expand in Balkans yet, so let's instead expand in Italy. What should we conquer? Uh, to be honest, I don't know, because alliances are of course different every game, I can't say for sure. In general, just follow your mission tree, it gives you some options. I'll wait until Venice truth with Ottomans ends, and they'll declare on them. But in general, you should declare on Ottomans as soon as possible. By the way, I can call in Austria. That's not plenty, but that's enough. It would be ideal if you could call in Venice or Hungary too. You won't fight Ottomans, you just need them to siege something. Let me show you my strat. So, the strat is pretty simple. Move your troops to Galibolu. Move them. Okay, that's why you need 200 cannons. That's why. You need 100 cannons for every level of fort. So, let's barrage it. And now, assault it. Don't worry about my power. You won't have it at all if Ottomans will get here. So just assault it. You generally should win. Yes. And now just keep it like this. So yeah, that's it. That's why it's better to declare on Ottomans when they're at war with some uh, Asia Minor nation. And remember that you have limited time because Ottomans will get access from Crimea. That's why Venice is pretty useful to you. They have big fleet that may help you to keep Ottomans at bay. You may try to siege Anatolian provinces if you want to. And just be careful if you see Ottomans run away to Balkans. So they finally got here. I still can siege some forts. Let's do it. I'm not done yet. And maybe they will piss out Trebizond. I hope that they will piss out Trebizond because I want these provinces. So you should obviously take some money, return Byzantine course, and take one Bulgarian province. But if Ottoman declared on Byzantium and you're in defensive, don't take its course, take Anatolian provinces. Because to get all benefits of Reconquest, you should declare Reconquest War. If you didn't, it would be better to take Gallipolo and Anatolian provinces. You may reconquer Byzantine course in the next war. I said to conquer one Bulgarian province, so you can do this. Now we have two pretty good vessels that you can reconquer with. And also, I will think I'll start annexing Byzantium. So your first idea group should be either espionage or diplomatic one. I recommend to take diplomatic ideas, but you may prefer espionage. They are pretty similar. 
To be honest, also of course I may take influence ideas, but I'm just not sure if they will help you that much in Italy. By the way, this event made me open Argon Diplomacy, and I see that it's allied with Austria, which is really really bad. Uh, but oh well, it's RNG, it may not be allied with Austria, then you may call in Castile and declare on it. I would recommend to do it, actually, it's pretty good strat. So if you finished your war with Ottomans, you should turn your attention to Italy. Just check who your neighbors are allied to. Sometimes they're allied to France, sometimes they're allied to Austria, sometimes they're allied to a lot of Italian nations. But mostly you still can find at least one nation that isn't allied to anyone's throne, and you can try to beat it. In my case it was Savoy, so I'll declare on it. Remember that you should improve relations with outraged countries. It will help you to avoid collisions. You may do it manually, like I've shown you. And remember that Italy and HRE are the most difficult regions to manage aggressive expansion, so try not to rush. Also, I totally forgot about HRE. I recommend to conquer all HRE nations first and only then leave it. You need to leave it anyways to form Italy and to complete this mission. And also don't forget to collect in Constantinople trade note. So the truce with Ottomans has already ended, but Austria is a little busy right now, unfortunately. But of course declare on Ottomans as soon as you can. Also by the way, if you want to annex your vessels faster, there is this button. It's pretty cool, use it. So as you can see, I'll annex it two years earlier. Yes, France just joined in. I'm not sure how, but it happened. I guess I need to help Austrians then. Or maybe, maybe I'll just leave. It's not my problem that France declared on Austria, right? I have enough favors, so I'll just raise my trust with Austria. So I've asked Castile to prepare for war, and I'll call it in instead of Austria. I'm really sorry for Austria, I hope that it will survive. Uh, the usual strategy, let's keep them in Anatolia. Am I hallucinating or did Ottomans delete their forts? Something is definitely not right, something is definitely not right, I'm not sure what's going on. I know that the AI deletes its forts if they can't afford it, but how Ottomans couldn't afford forts? Let's call them in. So, you've annexed Byzantium and I want to tell you what to do with it. Actually, I recommend to give Constantinople and all other centers of trade uh, to your trade company, so you get an additional merchant from it uh, if you get more than 51% of trade. Oh. Well, I guess I should assault this fort just in time. Okay, so, second war, what should we take? In the second war, you should return course to Bulgaria and ideally conquer these three provinces. And of course, if you didn't integrate Byzantium, I would also get Edirne. So, core these provinces and turn them in trade companies too. You want to turn every center of trade in trade company. Let's integrate Bulgaria. Now I need only Milan to form Italy and Rome, but Rome should come in the end always, uh, when you already have Tech 9 at least. Uh, so let's deal with Milan first. The best message in the entire game. So from Milan, always take Milano, you need it to form Italy, and try to isolate it from Switzerland. And take money, of course. So, what should you do next? You should get 20 provinces in Italy, it's pretty easy. You could try to declare on Naples, for example, you have connection to it. You could try to eat northern Italy, it's pretty easy. You already done most of the work and you have 30 years for the coalitions to cool down. In 30 years you should be able to get admin tech 10, declare on papal state and form Italy, finally. You might try to go for Tunis, you might try to go for Hordes, you might try to do a lot of things, that's why I want to end this guide here. Just one little tip. If you're allied to Spain and don't want to go to war with them, there is this button. You may abuse it. To do it, you need to vassalize Naples, you may leave one province to it, and it has cores on Sicily, and you may avoid war with Spain if you don't want to. If you're not allied with Spain, it's easier to do, just declaring them, right? As for ideas, I definitely take humanist ideas, or maybe religious ones, if you want to. Also, espionage and influence are pretty good too, I recommend it. If you already took a Spanish ideas, I would recommend to take offensive ones too. So I think that's it. Thank you for watching this guide. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to my channel.